Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So I didn't go to group this week so I woke up on Wednesday with a banging headache and it was just awful so I didn't go to group because of my headache. I've got some results back from part one should we say. So um, I don't want to go into too much detail like I said I want to keep some of this quite private but it does change how I'm going to be eating for quite a while. Not Nothing major, but I've had some blood tests on and run lots of tests and I've got, I'm, I'm classed as severely anemic. Um, for some reason, my body is just not absorbing iron for some reason. And we're gonna find out the reason why, um, because NHS has been amazing and we're gonna find it out. But for the moment, from my one blood test to a next blood test, over a period of time, my iron levels have dropped severely. Um, they are very, very low, like lower than what the, what like the average person is, well, well below. I don't wanna give numbers, but we're in single digits, people. <laughs> um, and we shouldn't be in single digits. And they don't know how long I've been anemic for because obviously there's lots of things I have been coping with which I've just put down f to a lots of different reasons but um, it could all be to do with whatever's going on so for instance one of them is hair loss I have never talked about this but I suffer really badly with hair loss hence why majority of the time it's up um, I'm really conscious of it if it's down clumps can come off but hair loss with severely being anemic is part of it um brittle nails i've also if you if you've noticed i've always had um like acrylic tips and then they would easily break i've had gels on um it's part of it my hands are always cold so are my feet that's one of it um sometimes i feel my heart racing a little bit sometimes i get palpitations it's it's things which have happened but they've 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 never been all together and I've never like joined the dot kind of thing. I'm one of these people where if I, if I don't feel pain, then I'd, I'll be fine, I'm fine kind of thing. Um, I hardly go to the doctors um, and it's it, it's a massive wake up call that I've got to start looking after myself a lot better. Um, so because of all this, I am on some really strong iron tablets um, and I've had a fab time going on the narrowboat. It was wonderful. But honestly, for my mental well-being, it's been amazing. But afterwards, I have like, like we went to the dance comps and honestly, I just wanted to go to sleep. Like I was so tired. Like there's things that I want to do and I can't do. Um, and it's only just now I've started to feel more myself and wanting to do things. Um, but like last week going to to group, I didn't really want to go. Um, I didn't want to upload vlogs. I, I've not uploaded upload vlogs. I've uploaded my narrowboat, but even that was just like, come on, let's do it kind of thing. But there was no like, like enjoyment. It was just, let's do it. It sounds really weird, but I, I haven't been myself. I've been like this like proper like funk. And now I've got these results back and I'm on these tablets. I do feel like we're on our way now. Now, we haven't got all the results back. Um, I'm still waiting on them. So at the moment, the, my main thing is to try and get this iron level up. And something to do with that is also my diet as well. One way to get iron into your body, obviously, is through your diet, what you're gonna be eating. So there's certain things which would be higher in sins on Slimming World. And I'm still going to group, I'm gonna to go to group next week. I would have gone to group this week. Um, I, I, honestly the headaches and the headaches which I've put down to like you know needing new glasses um, feeling a bit dizzy it all correlates to this and we just don't know why now my body's doing what it needs what it's doing kind of thing so lots of investigations happening but at least I'm on something now which hopefully will make me feel more like myself make me look better like I am so pale um, yeah, so um, it's promising and, I'm, and I feel, because I've got that now, I feel more like a little bit at peace because it's all that worry kind of thing and I don't think that's been helping. So yeah, let's go back to it. So 
part of me trying to increase my iron is to have more iron in my diet so there is things which i need to change my bread um it has to be more like iron based so it has to be like more seeds or something or with bread we've added iron in so i've gone for more of a seed bread kind of thing um a lot of things will change but nothing nothing like off slimming world but will change for me so like making sure i've got more greens on my plate kale green beans broccoli um it's better to have like chicken um thighs because your body can abs your iron absorbs better um what else was there those loads pulses lentils all oh, those loads i've got a list of it and then things which i have to reduce which is hardest is tea coffee milk and dairy they're not saying don't eat it or anything like that it's just reduce it as much as possible because it affects how the iron gets into your body so as you know i am a huge black coffee lover i drink black coffee like it's coming out of fashion i need to in, in, um, increase my fluid intake because i'm quite dehydrated um there's a lot of things which i need to do and it's time now i need to start looking after myself like like really looking after myself that's what i'm going to be that's what i'm going to be doing so i've got a food shop coming on sunday now i don't use i can't say the word i always get slated for it um it's an online major supermarket which sells food and it begins with o i say it incorrectly and if i say it i get people trying to tell me how to say it so you know which one it is it's the big o and i've not gone with that for ages I'm, I'm an Aldi girl um, but they have sent me a lovely 25% voucher to entice me back and it's been easier because like I said I just can't be bothered to go food shopping um, I really can't um, and the thought of it just just doesn't sit right so I've took the opportunity of this 25% off and I've got a food shop coming on Sunday and um, so that's coming on Sunday I've got to say I've spent the same as what I have spent at Aldi if but obviously I'd spent a lot more with the supermarket if I'd not used the 25% off so it's not cheaper at all but with this with this um voucher enticing me back it's made it it's made it the same kind of thing what I would normally shop at Aldi with so for the ease of it and also I have got things on this weekend which have been booked for quite a while which I am looking forward to and I'm so glad that I'm on this iron tablet now because it, it has made me feel better like I said things I'm going to start I'm going to upload um what I eat in a day because I've got to um keep track on what I'm eating um but like I'm not going to be counting sins as such I just need to relax a little bit um because some of the things I need to eat, eat is like, I've got to have more seeds, um, prunes, raisins, dried apricots are really good. So I just don't want to think about the sins as such. I just want to be more conscious of like what I'm actually eating. So for instance, porridge, I can have porridge. I can make it up with water if I wanted to, or I've got some like almond milk coming. I can make it up with that. And then on top, um, I'm going to top it with blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and then a sprinkling of some dried apricots because obviously apricots are really, um, are really beneficial with prunes, raisins, and all that. So I've just got to like not be so focused on the sins as as much, and just to, to try and eat healthier and be more mindful on this like trying to get iron into me and then for like my lunch it'll be like a slice of seeded bread um with kale at the bottom and then maybe some baked beans on top or some plum tomatoes which is still you know all semi world friendly with some black pepper that's another lunch option there's other ideas which i can't remember it's that's just the one which i've like gone oh i really fancy that actually and then for evening meals um chicken thighs with some seasoning on with green beans broccoli and new potatoes are really good keeping my meals quite simple and then um snacking on like the like um, fat-free cottage cheese or uh, making little dips out of it it's just i've got to be <sighs> just got to try and do this and i just want to relieve some pressure on me so um 
time without thinking because for me for me when i heard that i'm like oh my god i can't do that because i'm having porridge for my breakfast and then i'm having bread for my lunch it's like i can't i can't do that kind of thing and then i just thought you know what as long as i'm eating healthy and i'm looking after myself then i'm doing the best thing i could possibly can so i just thought i'd update you on what's going on quite briefly so that i'm not going too much into depth but i hope you understand and i'm, I'm so happy that i'm i'm feeling more like myself i think last week I probably were like, come on, we can do it, you know, I've, I've had this game kind of thing. And then as soon as I turned my camera off, I was like, oh, like, I didn't put like a, a, I didn't put like a fakeness on or anything like that. It's just sometimes going on this um, and being all cheery, sometimes, sometimes you can feel like it, you carry that mood on kind of thing. But I just felt last week like me going, oh yeah, come on, we can do this and all that. I just didn't feel like self. But I've recorded Friday Finds this week, so Friday Finds will be up tomorrow. Um, so I just feel like, slowly but surely, I'm feeling more like me again. So I'm just rabbiting on. So the basic of it is, I'm not going to be mentioning since um, what I'm having per day. Um, and I'm not going to be like calculating since for for at least three months because I've got to after three months I've got to have a blood test um but I'm going to be eating healthier I'm going to be um intake of more of my um water I've really got to do that I've got to take the iron tablets with orange juice so if I'm thinking of the orange juice I could be thinking of sins and like I just can't do it I just just need to relax a little bit and um follow some doctor's orders fo follow this like plan of food and then take it from there so yeah I, I like i said the most important thing is looking after myself and that's what i've got to do going forward so i hope you all understand i hope and um, you've had a brilliant weight loss um whatever plan you follow and as always send a huge positive thought see you soon bye